My mom said she always knew I was destined for greatness. Our ideas of greatness slightly differ, but that's okay. She said that I was going to be a superhero, and in preparing me she would read comic books to me while I was in her womb. She said I was going to be bigger and better than Batman, and that I would save the world. I don't know about that. But it's odd how things work out sometimes. I always had a thing for the creepy crawlies of the night, which led me to become an entomologist. A what? A scientist that studies bugs. Oh, hell no. And thus I became one. Sadly, my mother died of a heart attack at the young age of 45. That was about the time my career really started to take off. I blame myself. I think she died of a broken heart. Then it happened. Somehow, during lengthy radioactive testing, find out how cockroaches have such lengthy lives, my DNA mixed up with that of a roaches, and my legacy began. I am undead. An undead cockroach. With the help of this. And her. She's my assistant, April. The more I ingest, the more I become roach-like. I figure eventually I will be a giant bug and won't need this silly costume. April made this for me. I'm not sure, but I think she mocks me behind my back. She's totally loyal, though, and for now, this outfit works. Hey, okay. I'm not in this for rock star status. I'm just here to save the world. I can hear you. I know you're in there. I will bury you, little cockroaches. for drugs, huh? I should pull you in here with these two creeps, but I'm not gonna. You know why? Everyone has their demons. Everyone has their need to escape reality. I guess yours is crack, yeah? All right, that's okay. As long as you do it in the privacy of your own home, just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I'm the one who's on crack!
I'll figure out what to do with you two in a bit. Right now I gotta rest. I have faster reflexes than humans. I also have eyes made up of 4,000 individual lenses that allow me to see simultaneously in all directions. So how did I miss seeing the chameleon that day? Let's just say that if I don't get my beauty sleep, I'm pretty much worthless. More so than Spider-Man. You're sure it was he, the dirty little cockroach? Yes. Very good. You know that when humanity destroys itself, cockroaches will rule the earth, right? And who do you think will be their leader? The doctor? Yes, but I won't let this happen. So this is where he lives? Yep. And he's to sleep right now. We can bust him out whenever we like. He'll be out like a light for 20 hours or so. Okay? Your work is done. Hey! Let's get out of here and go play some tennis. You know what? Let's go to my boss's house and use his courts. You mean Professor Copper Panty? Oh yeah, we're going to the Roach Motel! <laughs> Hope you don't kick my ass like last time. Yeah, that was my bad, sorry. Okay, well I'm gonna go let Captain Coppercrotch know we're here. Okay. Dude, this sucks. I can't take it anymore. No one's gonna torture us for information when he gets back here. You know what? I'm no roach. I'm taking the cyanide pill. You were here to save me. I know I can't save the world. No single person can. But I can do my part. Hopefully, you will do yours as well. Regardless, I know Mom would be proud. Because even with a name like Super Undead Dr. Roach, a superhero is still a superhero. Caught 
constant stories, imaginings that keep me restless as you hold.